Hey everyone, so we all know what it feels like. We've gone out, we've shot some amazing drone footage, we've got back to edit the footage, and you've realized there's a drone shadow smack bang in the middle of your shot, which is so frustrating. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you how to remove that drone shadow in Adobe After Effects. Let's just get into it. Right, so what you wanna do is load up Adobe After Effects. Now, you can either import your clip from a file wherever it's saved on its own, or if you've got Premiere Pro and After Effects linked together, you can just open it up as a composition and then replace it with a composition from After Effects. So I've already got my clip loaded in here. So it's this shot that we shot outside of a school doing an internal FPV fly through. Now you can clearly see that the drone shadow is present here. So the sun was actually behind the drone in this shot, which was obviously casting a shadow onto this pavement. Now there's a slight caveat and um, something we need to make you aware of. So we're gonna use content aware fill. And while this works brilliantly, it struggles with complex backgrounds. So you'll see this is really ideal. It's quite a plain background and it's going to it's not really going to struggle to remove the shadow from this shot. Now if you have quite a complex background, it is going to struggle a bit. So this isn't one size fits all. And you do have to bear this in mind when you're shooting. So try and avoid getting the shadow in your shots at all costs. But hopefully this will save you in some instances. What you need to do is just put your shot into the timeline here. You can simply just drag it down into here and then you've got your shot ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is select the pen tool and we're going to need to draw a mask around the shadow. So you need to be fairly accurate with this. Um, and get as close as you can. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of wiggle room. Right, and there we go. Um, so what we're gonna do now is uh, click the drop down here, click the drop down on mask, and we're gonna go to subtract. What we're gonna need to do is go along frame by frame and adjust the mask so it's always got the drone shadow within that mask. So if you, click the drop down on mask and we're going to click the little stopwatch on mask path and then what we're going to need to do is just adjust this mask as we go through the clip so just make sure you're at the beginning of your clip and then we're just going to page down and just go along and just adjust it wherever we need to so something just to quickly mention is you can use subtract or you can use add, whichever you find is easier. So you'll need to change this back to subtract when we do the content aware fill. But actually, I find it slightly easier to do it with add rather than subtract. And it's just easier to see that shadow throughout the shot. So we'll just go along, page down, sort of frame by frame and just adjust the mask. I'm gonna speed this bit up because this can take a bit of a long time. So you just have to be patient. So actually this is quite a nice shot um, because the actual shadow goes out of frame halfway through the shot. So this is a good example of what you would do in this. Um, so we'll just follow it along until it goes fully out of shot and then we can literally just drag this mask so it goes out of shot as well. And you'll see that's pretty much disappeared out of shot now. So we'll do a couple more frames and then yeah, we're gone. So we can just pull these all out of frame now as that shadow has now completely disappeared and we should be good for the rest of it. Right, cool. So just need to make sure that you switch this back to subtract before we do the content aware fill. Um, right, so for the content aware fill, so if you haven't already got it uh, on your right hand toolbar here, if you just go to window, click content aware fill, uh, and it will appear Right, so we've got the content aware fill. So this is actually really, really easy. Um, so for the fill method, so for a moving object, you wanna select object. Um, surface would be if you're trying to remove a logo from a laptop, for instance. But so for this, we use object. We don't need to change anything else here, really. The work area, so that's the range. Obviously, that's just for this clip. If you had like a longer clip, you might want to choose a, a smaller area, but I would always suggest importing the exact clip that you need, or it's just going to take a long time to generate anything in After Effects. So what we'll do now, we'll click Generate Fill Layer. And so this is amazing. This is not going to take long at all. Uh, this used to take forever, but now it's super, super quick. So it's going to analyze the footage, render it, and then what, what it'll have is it will generate the fill layer, and actually you can already see that down here, and it will magically remove the shadow from the clip. Right, and now that's finished processing, you should be able to just play, 
and miraculously that drone shadow has now been removed from the shot saving your fantastic shot which was totally ruined by a drone shadow so look at that that's just awesome that's done a really really good job on that actually um, i was slightly worried about this section here as it gets a little bit complicated with the patterns but it's done a real i mean you can see a bit of an artifact just here but actually in in a shot that's moving quite fast you're probably not going to notice that too much so we'll just watch it again. Yeah, you barely noticed it. So I would totally use that. So that would be absolutely fine. So I did this as a professional shoot um, and I actually used this exact method to remove this drone shadow from this FPV internal fly through. So there you have it. So that's a really easy way to remove a drone shadow from your shot. And again, a slight caveat has to be on quite a plain background. Otherwise it is gonna struggle a bit on more complex backgrounds. So just bear that in mind in your shoots and just make sure you're shooting for the edit. Um, but you can't always avoid it. And in most cases, this should do the trick for you. So look, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you again soon with another tutorial.